name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We say every Sunday we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. What does that mean, that we're apostolic? It doesn't just mean that we can trace our history back to the apostles, because there's other churches who also do the very same thing. They know the ordinations of their bishops, they, the laying on of hands, they can actually trace them back to the apostles. And we do that. But in addition to that, the church must also keep its apostolic teaching, the teaching that was given to the church from the very beginning, and not alter that, nor alter the worship of the church and how we glorify God. And when we say um, the word apostolic, it also means um, we are sent. The apostles were sent by Christ to accomplish a mission. And the word missionary and apostle sometimes are used interchangeably. They mean the same thing. And so the church is apostolic as a whole. We um, commemorated yesterday Peter and Paul, and uh, Peter being the chief of the apostles, the preeminent one, the one who was the, the earliest leader, the one who got up at, at Pentecost and preached the gospel of the kingdom, and over 3,000 people were baptized on that day. And of course, Paul, his mission was he was sent not to the house of Israel, but to the Gentiles, to the nations who hadn't heard of, of Christ. And so we have the two of them as absolute pillars of, of the church's um, apostolic nature. But the church is bigger than just those two people. <laughs> and so the day after their commemoration, we we're remembering that the church is apostolic. There were 70 apostles that were sent out as missionaries to spread the gospel of the kingdom. And that the church embodies that. And that we never leave the church because we perceive one of the bishops who are essentially our modern day apostles, or if they do something that we don't agree with, or isn't, we'd say that's not apostolic. We don't leave the church because the church is apostolic. The Holy Spirit has imprinted itself upon us and upon the body of Christ. You can't take that away. People can distort that. People can get that wrong. People can make mistakes. Bishops can make mistakes. But it doesn't nullify what we are doing as an apostolic church. In fact, it strengthens it. Because it's when those times when the church has to stand up and say, what is apostolic? And defend it. If, and that's really the whole of our church history is standing up when a, a alien teaching comes into the body of Christ and, and all of a sudden it's being challenged. Well, what is apostolic? What is the truth? And we certainly don't turn away from the church and stop coming to it because here's where Christ is. You're not turning, and it's just, it's so much pride. It's so much human pride. I'm not going to that church. I'm not receiving communion there anymore because they're not apostolic anymore. You're turning away from Christ. We're not turning away from anyone else but him. And so we might not like what some people do, and, and, and we are sent as well <laughs> to be apostolic, to be the voice of the apostolic teaching of the church, and to speak up, even to speak up to our bishops and to say what's happening isn't right, and it needs correction. And, we're, and we see that that still happens to this very day. And that's because the Holy Spirit is the one who is in charge of everything in the life of the church, despite us, makes us sinners into saints. We've said that several times. We are sinners who are saints. 
Those things go together. That's our, our condition, our human condition. And we don't just think of ourselves as this terrible sinner, and we don't just think of ourselves as glorious saints. We think of ourselves as both of those things. With our weaknesses and with our imperfections, yet the Holy Spirit comes and strengthens us and makes us members of the body of Christ. Um, this is what we celebrate uh, today, and, and our church has preserved all of that. For the last thousand years, the way we glorify God has not changed. We're not going to introduce guitars and, uh, and make it something that we can sort of uh, make our own. The kingdom of God has come. And when the kingdom of God comes, it comes with it, with all of its power and its glory. And we've inherited 2,000 years of that spiritual experience of God in our presence. And so we don't mess with it. We, we, we ascend to it. We don't change it. We change. If, if we're not relating to it, it means we have to change. We have to ascend. We have to be lifted up by what is here and not bring it down to us, but bring ourselves up to it. Through the prayers of our holy apostles, may our Lord have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O holy apostles, intercede with the merciful God that he grant unto our souls forgiveness of us.